Do you have this problem? Some of your iPhone videos have these weird flickering lights every time you film outside, or maybe you see some weird jitters. Do you watch tons of YouTube videos and every creator says you need to film in 24 frames for that cinematic look? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you why they're wrong. Well, in Europe at least. Hey, welcome to the video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix those flickering light issues. But first of all, we need to talk about frame rates. So let me tell you about them. There's basically two regions. You have NTSC and PAL. There's also CCAM as well, but I'll be talking about PAL and NTSC. Now, NTSC, usually you have 24 frames a second, 30 frames a second and 60 frames a second. Here in the UK or Europe, we have 25, we have 50 and usually 100 frames a second. Now, historically, the USA adopted the NTSC format, which is usually 30 frames a second for broadcast TV. Here in the UK and Europe, we adopted PAL, which is 25 frames per second. So here's the problem. And why should you be cautious if you're in the UK or Europe at filming at those NTSC frame rates like 24 frames a second, 60 or 120? In Europe, the power supply is 50 Hertz. In the USA, it's 60. Hertz. So this means here in the UK, our AC powered lights will cycle on and off 50 times per second. Did you actually know that a light bulb isn't solidly on, it's flickering on and off. So here in the UK, it's 50 times per second. In the USA, it's 60 times a second. So this is where you're gonna see the problem. If you're filming in 24 or 30 frames a second, your camera is gonna pick up the mismatch between the light cycle and your frame rate. Now, this isn't something you can actually see with the naked eye. So you're only gonna notice this when you get your video footage in to the edit. Now, you might have some serious conversion issues as well. So if you have a 24 frames per second movie clip and you pop it into a 25 frames per second timeline, not only are you gonna get some audio problems, sometimes with the conversion, it will actually increase the audio pitch. So you might find that your audio is higher pitched or lower pitched. But also if you're taking 24 frames per second footage and putting it into a 25 frames per second timeline, you're missing a frame every single second. So that means you're gonna get some judderiness every time you play back your footage. And people don't generally notice this until they see it on the big screen. And it's very subtle, but you'll just notice a kind of skipped frame every single second, which is very, very annoying for your audience. The third issue is if you are a professional video maker and you've recorded some footage in the wrong frame rate, any broadcast company is not gonna to touch your footage if you've recorded 24 frames a second footage and they need it for the UK PAL market and vice versa. So it's something to consider if you are doing stock footage or you're doing footage that you want to sell to broadcast. Now with the modern age and globalization, there are some caveats here. Platforms like YouTube are very, very different to broadcast TV standards. So YouTube can actually handle 24, 25, 30, 60, 120 frames whatever, usually quite easily. So if you have filmed something here in the UK at 24 frames per second and you edit it at 24 frames and export at 24 frames, you can upload that to YouTube and your UK audience is gonna see that without any frame skipping, but they might still see the flickering light issue. Now there is one way of getting around the flickering light issue and that is to adjust your shutter speed so it matches and doesn't actually see the light cycle. It doesn't sort of catch up with it. So you can do that, but again, the problem is that you're breaking that 180 degree rule, which is kind of like a golden filming standard. So what are my recommendations? Well, if you're in the UK or Europe, definitely go into your iPhone settings and make sure you have PAL modes turned on and try to use those for all of your shots. Also, if you're using a mirrorless camera like the Sony A7S III I'm filming on now, make sure you're not filming in NTSC because you will come up with some of these issues. Now, some modern lights, some modern LEDs are actually flicker free. So you may actually be filming quite a lot of your videos and, and not even come across this problem. It's usually when you go outside and you try and film um, some older ceiling lights, maybe some uh, little bulbs on the side of like a Christmas market, you'll often see those sort of lights. And that's where you could entirely ruin your shoot. The rest of your video might be fine, but some of these fantastic shots you may need of a, say, a Christmas market at Christmas time will be absolutely ruined and you'll have these flickering lights every single second and there's nothing you can do to recover it. Now, if you're filming inside a studio and you wanna film at 24, just make sure you get 
these flicker free LED lights. I'll put a link to some in the description below. The other recommendation is also change your camera settings when you're filming in other countries. Because if you are filming in PAL now and you go to New York on holiday, you do want to change your settings and film and edit in 24 frames a second or 30 frames a second to ensure you don't get the reverse problem. And that goes for my American friends too. If you're coming to the UK, make sure you switch to PAL to get the best looking footage. So there you go. I hope this has helped you. Let me know if it has fixed your issues in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.